toilet cassette is located in here. Inside we have a starter kit with some a pair of gloves and some deodorizing sachets for when we empty the cassette, making it smell nice. Cassette, just pull up the lever, pull it out. And the first thing we do is press this button three times and it lets gas escape before we take the lid off. Uh, at the dump station there will be a pit in the ground, a pipe coming up, this goes in the pipe. We press and hold down into the pipe until it's empty. Uh, then we put some water, fresh water in here, give it a good shake around, empty it again. Then about two cups of water, one of those sachets down the tube, lid on, we can rinse that if we need to, and then back in the cassette holder. This is for 240 volt electricity. We put the plug lid inside, press it in, and when we're finished using 240 volt, pull the lever down, pull it out, and then pop the lid in. The vehicle comes with a hose with a tap fitting and the filler end. We open the fresh water tank, put the hose in, fill it till it overflows, then we know it's full and there's a gauge inside to show us that it's full. This is also lockable if you want to leave the vehicle locked. Again, push it closed firmly. To empty the grey water we use the grey water hose. This will be going in the pit at the dump station, one end in, take the lid off the great water pipe and put the hose on, tighten it on, then we bring the lever down to allow all the water to empty. When it's finished, put the lever up to lock it, take the grey water pipe off, remembering there'll be a little residue, pop the lid on, rinse this with a little bit of fresh water and join it together. There are two 9 kilogram LPG gas bottles. We have one connected. On is anti-clockwise, off is clockwise. Or you can just turn it on or off at the switch. We turn it off when we drive. We turn it on when we arrive at our destination. To lock this, we hold it out, turn the key, push it in, and it's locked. Unlocked. The diesel, we use diesel only, no additives, just diesel. We only have one type of diesel in New Zealand. Use the ignition key to pull out the cap, put the cap over, fill with diesel, put the cap back, and the key will come out. In the garage is the awning handle, telescopically extends, pop it in the awning slot, turn, wind, so it comes out. Then the elbow of the arm just flicks out, bring the arm down, the leg, lock it in place all the way up, and then peg the foot using your shoe. And to put the awning down, pull the leg up, push it in, tuck it up there, and just press the corner in again, and then wind up the awning. Just inside the motorhome door, you have a light switch for the outside light and a light switch for the inside. This is our gauge panel for our power. This is the power switch for the battery in the motorhome. We want that on all the time. So leave, turn it on, leave it on. This runs your lights and runs all the devices in the motorhome. This is the gauge to see the charge and you can see that the charge is uh, almost full. This is charged by the solar panel on the ceiling of the motorhome and as you drive it is charged up. 
every day it will be near the top and you'll have plenty of power to run the TV, satellite and lights and everything you need without it running out. This is the gauge for the vehicle battery, so the Fiat, and it's uh, that is, is fine, it's charged up to 12 volts and that will also charge as you drive. Over here we have the gauge for the fresh water. You can see at the moment we only have 25%. We need to fill up the water to 100%. This is the gauge for the wastewater or the grey water and there is nothing in there but when the gauge lights up to the top it's time to empty the grey water. This is the controller for heating the water and the air in the motorhome. Four icons, this is the air temperature, water temperature, the power that we're going to use to heat the water and the fan to blow the warm air in the vehicle. If we select the power, we have it set on gas, so you turn your LPG on and then the gas will heat the water, select. We roll back to the uh, water temperature, there's eco, hot or boost, we recommend hot, select and the gas will heat the water. Within 20 minutes of turning this on you'll have enough hot water to have one shower and hot water running through the taps of the motorhome. The icon will start flashing soon, meaning it's working on heating the air. We select that again. Now that we first have the water boiling, we can use the air temperature. The air is heated by using the water boiler. So we select that icon, roll the dial, and the flame comes up. 17 degrees is a good temperature. So the flame, the air is warming up, and the fan is going to blow warm air around the vehicle. The thermostat reads the temperature of the air, 17 degrees, it will bring the air up to 17 degrees and then turn the heater off. When it gets colder, it will raise the temperature to 17 degrees on the thermostat and then turn it off. It's safe to have this, the heater going all night, it's just blowing nice warm air at a gentle temperature to keep you cosy. So you don't need to be cold in a motorhome. To turn the heater off, we, we select that roll it back to off, select, and the heater is off. If we turn the hot water off, back to off, and there's nothing on. That's good. This is your TV set. The release lever is here. It releases it from the, uh, from the bracket. It has a DVD player, USB inputs, and the power switch is here. Press it on. And the remote is here. When it boots up, the sends the satellite signal up, turns around looking for a signal, and then locks in the signal, then you get a picture. You may need to wait a few minutes while it turns on and off, on and off while it tunes in, then you get your picture. If we press source on the remote, satellite TV is the Freeview stations, DVD, or USB. Press OK and channel 1 OK to switch your channel over. When we're finished with the TV at the end of the evening we can turn it off here or off with the remote. So the satellite dish goes up and turns on when you turn the TV on but to turn it off press and hold until it flashes and then the satellite dish will turn and come down. In the kitchen cupboard there are two fry pans, small and large, two pots with lids, small and large, a gas kettle, a bowl and colander, and a rubbish bin. Immediately above are two power points. These will only run on 240 volt when you're plugged into external power. It will not run on battery. In the bottom drawer we have some cutting boards, some pot stands 
and a grill plate for the oven. The grill plate can be used in the oven, but the oven must stay open, otherwise it will turn the gas off. To use the oven grill, we turn it to the right, press and hold, and use the electric starter, and off. To use the oven, we turn it to the left, press and hold, and use the electric starter and then off. Kitchen drawer has cutlery in it, knives, forks, spoons, teaspoons, a bottle opener, tin opener, peeler and scissors, knives and spatulas and tongs. Gas stove, lid opens, then the elements, turn it, press it and hold it and use the electric starter. Turn, press, electric starter, turn, press, and the electric starter. And turn them off when you're finished. Kitchen sink lid comes up. And when we're not using the sink, we leave the plug in and it stops the smells coming up from our grey water tank. The tap turns here, we've got cold or hot when we've heated our water and to turn the water on we lift the tap and then we can bring the lid down. For ventilation in the kitchen you can open the kitchen window or you can have it closed in the middle section for a little bit of fresh air and bring down the mosquito net for fresh air. Also if you want at night you can bring down the privacy screen. But remember that when you travel, you must close your windows so that it doesn't drag in the air. The kitchen light is located under here, under the pantry, pantry space above. The power switch of the fridge is on when the light is on. The status button shows that it's on automatic. We have our LPG on, so it's using gas. And there's four out of five bars temperature, which is nice and cold. When it's on automatic, it means if we plug in electricity, it will prioritize electricity instead of gas. If we turn the electricity off and turn the gas off, the display will blink until we start the vehicle. When we turn on the vehicle, a battery will show and will keep the fridge cold while we drive. A sizable fridge and freezer compartment with an ice maker is included. At the bottom of the fridge we have the crockery, four plates, four uh, dessert plates, four glasses and four mugs. The table has an adjustment for height, up and down and lock. It also has an adjustment for moving the table side to side and back and lock. The chair also can be turned around to use the table where we want it. So to turn the chairs around we always move them forward and then pull the lever to turn them around. To use the shower we remove the lid. You can use the um, wooden mat or remove it and put it in the garage if you don't want to use it. We have two plugs. We keep them in when we're not using the shower to stop the grey water smell coming through. Obviously take the plugs out when you use the shower. The shower we have an adjustable rose head, hot and cold water, a skylight for ventilation, and at night time you can close the blind for darkness and the doors join magnetically when you're inside the shower. The bathroom and toilet are located here. The light switch is just under the basin cupboard for toiletries. The toilet operation, you have a toilet seat you can turn the toilet, um, you open the toilet with the spray lever, bring it forward to open into the toilet cassette, 
do your business, flush the toilet by pressing and holding. When it's drained, close the, the toilet cassette and then close the lid to keep the smell to a minimum. When the toilet cassette is full, a light will come up on the flushing unit and at that time you must empty the toilet cassette. Or if you don't like what you see in the toilet, you can empty it before the light comes on. Overhead skylights, open, close the mosquito net, we close them again, important to keep it closed while we drive, and at night, for privacy, we have the screen. It's a queen size bed, uh, comes complete with towels, bedding, pillows. And if you want a little bit more length on the bed, you can pull the mattress forward. And at the back there is a mattress square block that we put down the back, which gives us a little bit of extra length on the bed. There are wardrobes on each side of the bed for hanging clothes, overhead storage, and lights on either side of the bed. Turn the key for the drop down bed. We undo the safety catch, pull up this and press the button. Bring it all the way down until it stops. There we have a queen size bed with lights, a privacy curtain, uh, a skylight and of course a ladder to get up and down and we store the pillows in the bedroom rather than up here to make sure we can get it as high as we can. There are also bed supports should you need them to plug up. For the single bed model you can pull out the centre aisle and make one big king size bed. So we have these restraints which clip into the ceiling and for toddlers, for keeping toddlers or babies safe you can put some pillows up against them uh, and the ladder for access onto the bed. To make up the lounge bed uh, pull up the seat cushions are out from under the table and bring them up. Then lift the table up and off its hinge, uh, turn it over and collapse the leg by pressing the button. Attach the table to the lower level and replace the seat cushions. With the seat cushions back in place, put the extra cushion provided in the centre to make up the bed mattress. Then remove the seat back cushions, uh, the one behind the driver's seat. Then move to the opposite side and to remove the back of the seat cushion, you need to uh, release the headrest clips and remove both headrests. Then make up the bed with sheets, duvets uh, and pillows provided. To start the motor, press the brake and turn the key. If beeping starts, press the brake up into neutral. To bring it down into gear, pull down and we're looking for auto 1 on the dash. Handbrake off all the way down and good to drive. For reverse, brake across and down and then the camera picture will come up on the screen. To park the vehicle, brake, neutral, handbrake on, turn the key off, and then you're parked. So the entertainment system, you can Bluetooth your phone by selecting it, pairing your phone, look for the vehicle number, MC180 in this case, pair your phone, it on the screen and then your music will come up. 
the screen will stay on in the vehicle. Uh, it's run from the house battery. It will stay on so that you can have the radio going for as long as you like. And then to turn it off, we switch it off here. We have air conditioning. We have some controls here. Ignore them. You do not need them. You also do not need this control. But you do have emergency indicators and the central locking. This locks the two um, cab doors and the motorhome door so that you're safe at night. It's important that the motorhome door is closed firmly, otherwise this will not work. Then in the morning you can unlock. For privacy, we open the blinds, bring them together and they join magnetically. The side blinds also open. We keep this upright, close and in the morning bring it up, keep it upright and give it a help over the top and back into place.